All right, you ready? Let's do this. Let's go get TikTok. And let's go TikTok. Let's do this. Let's do this. Happy Monday. Happy Mystery Monday, everybody. How are you? Oh, cool. I got one more. Yay. Happy Mystery Monday. We are going to have so much fun and I just put it in there yay hello everybody this is multitasking at its finest welcome 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 to my Monday stream up uh, hello 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 Arlo hello Mac Hello, Tayan. How are you? Hello, my little cute little uh, knife emojis. How are you? Hello, Caleb. Thank you for the follow. Ashley, Bree Bree. All right, are you ready for Mystery Monday? Because we're going to give it just a couple of minutes and we are going to start Killer Frequency and we are going to play this from start to finish. We are doing the whole game. This is a seven hour game and I am committed to playing this start to finish so that way we can get to the good ending and my day's been going great. Everything's going good but we are going to get this from start to finish. Mary, thank you so much. Sharon and it's going to be great and yes, like I said, it's hello Tammy. I'm not feeling the greatest today so I need this Lonnie stream. Katie, you're here just relax, get into something comfortable. I've got my Ugg boots on. I've got, um, I got my little jacket on. I got my little stretchy pants on and I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I got my water. I got my beanie. Letty, yes, you made it early. <sighs> oh no, Farrell, I'm so sorry. You're not feeling good. Hello, Lucky, right on time. We are gonna just have a great, great, great live. Thank you, Mary. I really appreciate that because I really do focus on making this a safe space. Um, I focus on making this entertaining. It's going to be safe. It just, this is just a place where we can all just drop in and just be together. And I love it. Uh, we are all going through so much. I know, I don't know if there's something, maybe you're all out there, um, know more about the stars or retrograde or whatever it is, but it just, life seems really heavy right now. And I just want to be able to, again, provide just a spot where we can just be like, you know what, just for seven hours, because that's how long this game is, we can just sit here and just be okay together. Shelby, join the Discord today. What a beautiful community. Oh, awesome. I love it. And I did put the book corner in there. So if you have any book suggestions or if you want to talk about books, you have a spot in there. Um... B. Mackey, yes, uh, rough day, but I can't wait to leave it at the door. Exactly, leave it at wherever you're at, leave it there, and let's, let's just keep going. And yes, we have a book section now in the Discord, and I just added a new bean, so now we have a birthday bean. So anybody who has a birthday, you can, um, we, it, when you tell us it's your birthday, we can all wish you happy birthday with that cute little birthday bean. And I absolutely love that little bean. So we are going to do that. And we are going to get going on this one. Um, oh, Gavin, absolutely. And anybody who's had a birthday, January or in the past, it, whatever, the last, um, what day is it? The last 12 days of February. Let us know and we can send you the cute little birthday emote. And that way you get the proper birthday salute from the beans. I know, isn't that cute, Betsy? And I love the one that you sent me too. Presley, thank you for hearting me. All right, so I love to sit here and talk, but we need to get going on this game because this is, again, a very long game. It's seven hours but um, we're going to get through it. And so what we're going to do, DJ, so what we're going to do is if there's a multiple, um, if there's a multiple answer, I'm going to let you all pick the answer. If it's a timed 
um, answer, if, if we have to make a real quick response, I'm going to go ahead and just do that. So then that way, um, it kind of keeps the story go going. But this is going to be, this is going to be a group effort. We're going to save Peggy and we're going to figure this out. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know how our, our answers are going to affect the new game through. I'm super excited to see how it's going to. And I, this is just such a cool, interesting story. I just don't see uh, it, it being repetitive. So that's what I'm saying. Um, let's see. Ah, Betsy, I saw your message. Thank you. All right, let's get going. Like I said, Caitlin, how are you feeling? Like I said, um, yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Lucky. I, I mean, I think we're going to be able to definitely, I mean, we're finishing it one way or the other. I am not ending this stream until we are done. So let's get going. All, everybody, settle in, grab a drink, um, get your hydration station going, and let's start. Okay, let's do a new game, everybody. Let's do a new game. Yes, Letty, this is such a good game. Kat, thank you so much for hearting me. I appreciate that. Previous autosave data will be lost to, um, to ensure autosave data is not lost. Load your last autosave than normally meant. Nope. Do you wish to continue? Yes, I want a new game. All right, we're loading a new game, everybody. Um, oh, Sarah, I love that game. Okay, so pick up objects, press that. Yes, got it. Uh, drop, yep, yep. And it should be a little bit easier because I do, I know how to do the controls right away, so I'm excited about that. Okay, we have our alley. And if you just joined, just this is called Killer Frequency, and I'm playing the entire game today. And also, too, if you just joined and you're new to this live, uh, you can turn your phone sideways for a full horizontal, no, for a full landscape view. So like that or like that. Okay, <sighs> here we go. Valeria, how are you? All right, let's get going. Um, inspecting objects. So we can do that. We can put it, okay, press E to look at it. Or we can, and then you can also look at it like that. Press E to exit, R to drop. Yep, we got it. Can't get in there. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It was a heavy, I, I keep saying this, and I just, I don't want to be repetitive. It seems like it's a heavy day these days, but I am determined to not um, weigh me down. So we are going to have a good time here. We have to play the victim in the beginning, remember? Okay. Okay. The Whistler. Hello, Lucy. What, ga what game console are you playing on and what's the name of the game? Royal Space, I play on a keyboard and mouse and this is called Killer Frequency. Hello, Squid. And we are a rate. That's what I was thinking, Gavin. I was wondering about that. I was thinking that that was, I thought it was just on my end, but let's go sound, master volume. I, let's turn down the music. Let's turn down the music to 80. Let's turn down. I'm gonna keep the voices up. Let's see, uh, let me know how this is. Okay. From Peggy. Huh? Hear what? Thought I heard someone yelling, or I don't know. I kept the voices well, loud. Is this a joke? 
No, I put the music down just a little bit. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, cat. tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre flight checks? Seriously? Do we have to do these checks every Yeah, time? we played this um, one time before, so this Richard is our second playthrough. Richard pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... I think we can skip the, pre the pre-flight check since we've already played this one time before. Okay, good. I'm glad. Good sound check. Everybody good? Everybody settled in? Everybody good? Um... Uh, I know, I know, me too. Okay, then we can, let's skip it this let's time. Let's just get started. I know how this goes. Okay, Big Shot, any technical failures tonight are on your head. I'll take it, Peggy, just, let's just. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought Yay. that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Exactly. Okay, you're live in three, two, one eighty nine point six. We're already getting bust around by Peggy. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This Hello, is Addy. Forrest Nash, and you're listening to one eighty nine point sixteen, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. We're playing I'm killer play frequency. The scream, then you call and guess that scream. <laughs> we need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe? Hello, Saw Matt. Off a finger or discover the corpse of a loved one. That's good. Now, Forrest, hit the Hello, Leasley. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close and then call in to Guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Great. All Forrest, right. you do have the tape right. Yes, you Peggy. Doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. Yes, it is. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And <laughs> you're the one at the mic, so... Okay, are you serious? I won't do it, or I hate what I've become. So you get to pick one, two, or three. So you're going to drive this story, and I just want you all to know that. Hello, Joan of Arc. I hopefully you're having a better day today. So throw me those answers and the most popular one. Right now it's a tie between one and three. So, okay, one, it's still a pretty good tie. Good, good, I'm glad you're doing better. So do you wanna have, are you serious? Okay, so nobody has said two, so two's out. Giggle snooker. So it's either gonna be, are you serious or number three? Bree Bree says number one, two, okay. All right, number one. Number one is coming in at the lead. Aw, thank you for hearting me. Cat, thank you for hearting me. And my little tulip rose, thank you for hearting me. Really, Peggy? You want, you want me to scream? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Emma, thank Listen you for hurting me. And then call in to guess that scream. Okay, so do you want, I have to scream. So do you want me to be a perturbed Yeti, the falling from the cliff scream, or the drowning scream? Oh, really? Uh, you know, they can never recreate what we do, though. Number three, the drowning one. We chose the Yeti last time, so either two or three. 
Um, two, or so, okay, so two was pretty popular there for a while. Threes kind of came up a little bit. So, okay, it looks like, it looks like it's gonna be number two. Okay, so, falling from the cliff scream. <laughs> he did it. Thank goodness. Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win. I thought I was going to have to do it. Amazing maze maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough. Fried dough. Just call in at 555 That was bad. With your guess. Now, here's some music while you get dialed. Emma Peel, we're just playing Killer Frequency tonight. All right, so let's play. Uh, let's play. Let's play that one. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song. Hello, Rocket. The word. Uh, Emma, thank you for hearting me. My heart puff. Allison, thank you for hearting me. And Leela, thank you for hearting me. And Emma, thank you for my heart puff. think that was. How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. Emma, thank you for all of my heart puffs. I appreciate oh, Forrest, that. Forrest, there's a call coming in. Will, I just started. Okay, Forrest. Literally like five minutes. All right, let's take this first call. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator. And police I'm taking staff notes this time. Okay, are you calling to guess The Scream, Slow Night, or Shouldn't You Be Working? Leslie, our bestie, exactly. Okay, we have, it looks like it's between three and one, but one is definitely coming in faster. So let's go ahead and ask her if she's calling to guess the scream. Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No. Look, I found a body and I need your help. Help! 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Yeah. Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Hello, Eddie, Stana. I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's we don't do contract. pranks. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Are you serious? Or you should call the sheriff. Are you serious or you should call the sheriff? Um, let's see here. Number two, number two, number one, number two, one, one. See, I personally, yeah. I personally would be like, looks like the one's coming in. I would be like, are you serious? I, I would probably question her first. So let's go ahead. And it looks like... A, it's a toss-up, so let's just go ahead and say, Leslie, are you serious? I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe. Yeah. I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is Aubrey, dead. Aubrey, thank you, honey. What? What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? What? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and I really don't No, want to I don't have to use it, the mic in mine. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but Um, where are the other officers or is there anyone else at this station? Grace, I'm doing good. How are you, hon? Okay. Um where are the other officers or is there anyone else at the station? 
Do, do. Emmy, yeah, this is such a great game. It looks like I'm good with looking forward to you stream all day. Awesome. I'm glad you're here, honey. Okay, it's pretty close. Um, pretty much the same, but let's go ahead and go with number one. That one looks like it's squeaking out a little bit. I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or? or yeah, like what's going on? Leslie, give us some more do. information. No, I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. What? I called you right after I found her. God. That's Wait. horrible. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have, we have three. three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on of course. and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come into you. Why me? No, that's a bad idea. Or you can count on me. Which one would you like? <laughs> Why me? No, nope, that's a bad idea. Or you can count on me, Leslie. Okay, wait, it's going between... It definitely looks like... Um, let's try number two because it's like, I know why me because I'm the radio host. Let's uh, try number two. No, I'm sorry, but this is let's... a terrible idea. Terrible you idea. You You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. Emmy, thank you again You're for my heart. The only heart. person equipped for the job. The Besides, only one. There are lots of transferable skills between the two. Okay, it's well. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you talking you know okay i can do that conversation and know when to jump in i can do that i'm so good at interviews they sent me from chicago to gallows creek right so i've heard but that doesn't matter and besides there are two of you me and peggy talk to each other discuss ideas work together and then all of us so on the job training right now i have an emergency yes you do leslie how get an unconscious deputy martinez out of that holding cell it looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Sierra Bonds, thank you for my roses. No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to I was going to say, through. squeeze through there. There's got to be another way in. Thanks, Peggy. Okay, try to break down the door, find another way into the cell, or find another set of keys. Which one would you like? Try to break down the cell door, um, find a way into the cell, or find another set of keys. The keys, yeah. Because there's no way you can break the door down. It's a, it's a cell. You know, they want to keep the, pe the prisoners in. So I would say no to number one, find another way into the cell, kind of like number... Number two is kind of like number one, so I say number three. Just find another set of keys, girl. You can do this. Okay. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Cannot be the only ones. Yes, there must be another set. That's Where why I'm the radio set? host. Uh, okay, check the officer's desks or check the officer who got... Uh, Oh, him, we're doing killer frequency. It's a, I, I'm trying to play it from start to finish. Um, here comes Peggy, exactly. Are you, um, hey, Lonnie, been on vacation, missed you. Kinsey, I'm glad you're here, honey, and hopefully you had a good vacation. Uh, okay, so I... Do you want me to check the sheriff? Yeah, I would say check the officer's death. I mean, 
Uh, let's go ahead and check. I mean, the sheriff has to have keys on him. Yeah, I would say check sheriff. Okay. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. Well, you got to look up close, Leslie. One this second. is. We got some serious business here. Exactly. Ah, yeah, he's not looking at you. Oh, wait. That might be them. There you go. I, I, I think I got the cell keys. That Looks is a like good Sheriff thing. Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. Awesome. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Um, I can't handle this all night. Utter, thank you for hearting me. I think we can handle this or I'm quitting K fam if this is a prank. Which one would you like? Emma, thank you for ah, thank you for my tater in love. That's so cute. I think we can handle this. Yeah, so do I. I, I want to go into this with a with a positive, just like we can solve this murder mystery straight up. Um, uh, I think we can handle it. I mean, we're a bunch of smart beings. We can handle this. Yes. Yeah, that seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie was right. We can handle this. Maybe we can handle this nightmare yeah. business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I, well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Oh, Come on, Martin. Sorry to tell you. There we go. I'm just going to sit you in your office chair. But if you only God. knew, Peggy. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. Okay. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be I do, stuck. Gavin. Um, it's the right thing to do. You're leaving? We're all on our own? Well, I kind of already knew that she was leaving, but I'll let you all pick this one. I will let you pick this one. Um, I mean, it is the right thing to do. And I already knew she was leaving. She said she was going to the next town. So, okay. Let's pick the... It's the right thing to do. Got it. She's going to the next town to go That's get help. Idea. The phone lines the are out. Risk right now. She can't... Thank well, the long-distance phone lines are out. Just work together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now, I'll be back as soon as... Uh-oh. What? What? Yeah, you're welcome. My honey. car is on fire. That's not good. How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? This is a replay, Otter. What? No, no way. That did this not sound good at all. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's big that noise? It sounds like trouble. Whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh, oh it is. I can see him, but he's dead, right? This is called um, Killer Frequency. How the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The Who? Whistling Man. The Whistling Man? Who's the Whistling Man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Oh, no. Lock the doors. Leslie, stay inside and lock the door. Huh? Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. Okay, run for it. Hide in the station or take the police cruiser. You know she's got to get out of there. She has to go get help. So, yes. <laughs> run for his run. Number three, police cruiser, yes. You're the whistling man? Uh, no, don't be the whistling man. Okay, number three, take the police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. Yes, I, Leslie. Yeah, yeah, that could work. <laughs> Let me check if Martinez has any nuts. Just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and yes, got him. Okay. Keys for squad car three. Yes. I saw that parked out front when I got here. 
Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. That's but what I do best. Wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Um, uh-oh. So whose pew pew do you want to take? The sheriff that's knocked out or the sheriff that's... So either the one that's knocked out or the one or two. Number two, Georgia. I was. I think that's probably the best one because it's right there. Otherwise, she has to put um, two because Martinez. Um, be, two because the sheriff fired um, loads. Oh, that's right. Very good. That's right. The sheriff um, shot all the bullets out. So no. Let's take, okay, because she's got Deputy Martinez. Deputy Martinez is the one that's knocked out. So she probably has all the bullets in her pew pew. The other one probably doesn't. So let's take Martinez's. Yes. See, we're smart beans. We are smart, smart, smart. So let's take Deputy Martinez's. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Yes. Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. What? I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. Uh, the sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I, yeah. Oh, shit. It's empty. He Ooh. must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Is there a weapon lockup? Can you see any other weapons? I say, can you see any other weapons? Because we do not have time to look for a key to go look for a weapon lockup. I say, just find another weapon and let's get out of there. But that's just me. Okay, number two. Okay. Are, are there any other weapons lying yes, around? Yes, find you something. Use? Find. I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. There you go. All uh, right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Oh, okay. no. Which one are we going to take? Are we going to take the pepper spray, the taser, or the baton? And truthfully, hello, Grid. Truthfully, I'm going to say either the taser or the pepper spray because I don't want him to get that close to me to have to use the baton. So I'm thinking either the pepper spray or the taser. Taser, okay. Yeah, very true. Megan, he was wearing a mask, so the pepper spray would not work. Very true, yes. Okay, Ruby, Ruby you're absolutely right. So let's go with the, uh, yeah, number one with a taser. If you miss the shot, they're done for. But Kinsey, he's wearing a mask. So I think that that would, um, I think number two, we got to do number two because he's wearing a mask and I don't want him to get close enough for me to have to, yeah, I don't want him to get close enough for me to have to use the baton. So let's take the taser. <gasps> Grid, oh, thank you for my falling for me. That was so cute. I saw that today and I'm like, that's so cute. I mean, it's got to be the taser, right? Hello, Hi. Roblox. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... The Bean Gang is on the case. You hear that? What? Um, I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything? One thing I hear is the car blowing or burning in the background. But do you all hear anything? That was super cute. I don't hear anything either. Okay. No. I, I, I don't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Oh. Can you still see the whistling man? Maybe the freak left or be careful. I personally, um, I per yeah, I would say number one. I definitely would say number one because I mean, it's like, can you, you might want to look for him. Okay, number one. Okay. You said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you still see him? Yeah. Take a look. Okay, go take a look. Oh. I don't see him anywhere. Okay. I can see the car. Okay. Squad car three. It's right there. That's good. Okay. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. 
<sighs> yep, come on, you can do it, Leslie. Yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? You can do so, this, Leslie. Here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Okay. If I reach it. Oh, you're going to make it, Leslie. You'll Thank make you it. Soon. Um, good luck, Leslie, or good luck, Leslie, or good luck, Leslie. Do we want to give her like a good luck, Leslie, or eh, good luck? I think we should give her like the good luck, Leslie. Yeah. Let's just give her a little, let's just give her a little, um, a little encouragement. I'm only in this game for about 10, 15 minutes. It really just started. <laughs> good luck, Leslie. Good luck, Leslie. Okay. Such a brave woman. Yes, it is. God, I hope she makes it through this. Me too. You know, Hydration station, say, everybody. This really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. That's what they say, Peggy. You should know. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. Okay. I'm putting the call through. Thank you, Peggy. Hello? Yes. Forest? Yes. Peggy? Yes. This is Leslie. Are you there? We're here. Over. Um, we're here. Hello? Um, hello? Hello, Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. We did. Okay, the good. Martinez and the passenger seat four, four, four. I don't see the whistling man anywhere. Good. I don't plan to wait for him. Good. Drive, Why Leslie. Get us moving. Jesus. Oh. God damn it. Get, get back. Get oh, no. Her. Leslie, what's happening? The whistling. Oh. No. That's right. Leave her alone. Get off of her. Yeah. yeah. Tase him. Tase him, Leslie. Uh, get out of there. Leslie, what are you waiting for? Get, get out, out of there. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. We're out of here. Are you okay? Are you two okay? I mean, that's what I'm gonna say. Are you two okay? Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser. Definitely the right call. Yes. Oh my God, I can't believe we escaped. We are well such done, good Leslie. beans. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my God, yeah. But let me tell you. Co bean game. From your side of the phone. Leslie, how long <sighs> is it going to take to get help? We are that unstoppable beans. Nowhere spill, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours each way. That's it's like a long. Put your foot down. Um, that long? Uh, we'll do our best, or you better floor it. And that we are playing Killer Frequency start to finish tonight. Which one would you like? Um, start to finish, Killer Frequency number three. Uh, yeah, number three, everybody's like, you better floor it. I don't think gas is a problem. We're not, they kept their, their cruiser um, filled up. Yep, you better floor it. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll Go fast. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, Look. once I'm in... Oh, I what? I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Oh, this is good. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon. But I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Okay. Uh, take care. I don't even want to say the word crash. This is take all care, about Leslie. decisions and puzzles. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Okay, Peggy, just hush up. You're still on my bad list. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. We do. Please make sure to stay safe. Stay safe, everybody. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. Yeah. You know, we'll it's only here. midnight. On Everybody's awake. Everybody's the awake screen. in this small little town now, right now. Here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Um, we're just going to throw this one. Well, we can put this one over here. And let's try. We'll do this one.
We restart. No, 444 is perfectly fine. We're starting from the very beginning so we can try to understand the story a little bit better and try to save Peggy. Four hours. This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Jason, thank you for the follow. I know, I know. I just. Who is this whistling man character? Who is this? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just did. Okay. Okay, what happened to him? Um, what happened to him? Okay. That's what, what I'm thinking. Well, police chased him up to Alice Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him and he jumped into the river. I'm making notes. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. Well, he's like what's 80 years truth? old now. Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. I mean, if that's back in the 50s, um, so we're screwed. That's what I want to say, but I'll let you all pick. Um, I'll let you pick. We'll do our best. Guess we'll find out, so we're screwed. <laughs> Twos were there for a while. Um, threes are making a comeback. Okay, number three it so is. So we're screwed, because it sounds like we're screwed. We're That's not what it screwed. sounds like. Things just aren't great right now. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a yeah. Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people <laughs> at best. You don't have to apologize for not being a bean, honey. 35 at best? Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35? That's nothing. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. Number one, number two, or number three. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have one, three, one, three, two, 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 two. Okay, let's go with two. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Million? At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're going to learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Yes, we oh, are, Peggy. We have a call coming in. All right. Take Everybody right stay ready. frosty. We have a call coming Time in. Time to turn the music off. Yes, bossy Peggy. All right, let's take this call, Hello, everybody. Caller, you're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything uh, all right? I don't sound good. That still don't sound good. Okay. Who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Do you have asthma? Squeak, thank you for hiding me in. Sounds like a dog. Okay, what's or your like... name and why are you calling in? <laughs> it's Stanley, exactly. Hello, Squeak. You know my name. No, I don't. Darth Vader on a budget, exactly. Um, you don't have to do this, or do you accept any request? I'll let you pick this one. The person can't be serious, exactly. 
Okay, number two, we're going in with number two. Do you accept requests? So I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Uh, maybe Check. you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? No, I to don't. Us. I, I mean, me. We want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want yep. cheese dusted pretzels. It's a goon. I'll cut your face off. Cheese dusted pretzels sound really good, though. I'm cutting them off. Um, cut him off. Yeah, cut him off. Uh, we also want a mega gull. For anyone just tuning in, we do in fact have an actual killer out in the streets tonight. An actual killer. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Everybody just stay inside. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. 1980X. Hey, the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, it's kids a thing. Here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny. But it's not. It's, it's not, not Peggy. Funny it's not and funny at no all. chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... Hello, no, Letty. That, that's real. <sighs> Christ. <sighs> Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. All right. Let's talk to this person on the line. All right. Let's talk to him. Call coming Hello, in. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. You're What's gonna your have name? to deal with me, honey. What's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. Yeah, um, cops aren't coming. Or the sheriff is dead. How blunt do we want to be with her? Number two. Okay. Good luck with that, exactly. So we have one, 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 one. Okay, the cops aren't coming. I'm sorry that the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. How? Why? Town for a jazz run. I know some psycho dressed like the jazz hands. And after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Where are you at now? Are you, why is, what's a jazz run or a bad night to go out for a run? Uh, where are you now? A jazz, like what the hell is a jazz run? Or bad night to go out for a run. Kylie, thank you for the follow. One, one, one. I found your live last night. And I just love your vibe. Oh, thank you, Jenny. I'm glad. Thank you. Uh, we're going to have a good time tonight. This is an amazing game. Okay, number one. Where are you now? Let's help her. Okay. Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I just ran all the way to my car. And Don't baby flat. me. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. <laughs> Sandra, why'd you drop your damn keys? I can't get moving. Can you go back and find your keys? Sounds like you lost him. I think you'll be fine. Or is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere? Uh, this one, it's going to be all up on you. Can you go back and find your keys? Sounds like you lost him. I think you're fine. Well, she still has to get out of there. Or is there anywhere else you can go? Okay, looks like three's coming on. Hello, Janie. How are you today? Okay, number three. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Yeah. Well, I'm not going back out there. I... Oh. The whistler's out there. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. Oh. Look, I don't know what about 
Stick out your beanie today. I will help I you. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. <laughs> got it. When I find it. You're listening to 189.16. The Elizabeth. Screen, hosted by me, Forrest Nash. Your friendly neighborhood radio host. Mechanic and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Yeah, we're gonna try to save you. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins talk motors. Oh, thank yeah. you, honey. You know they're not even brothers. Really? Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. <laughs> anyway. I do that. I get sweaty and defensive. The offices are out the door and down the hall. All right. So, as um, Lucky just reminded me, the we found the magazine in the bathroom. So let's look and see if we can't find that. Um, she's talking about my merchandise for the live, and if you want to check it out, it's in my link tree in my bio. Okay, so this looks useful. So let's go. Is this the one that we had last time? Because last time, remember last time though, we had, I thought we had one that actually said how to hotwire cars. Well, maybe they all have the... Oops. Oops. Okay. Yeah, it's a different one. Okay, we'll look and see if this one has it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go check this out. We are playing Killer Frequency all night tonight. Object tray. Except I want to. Nope, nope. Okay, keyless entry techniques. And then we're going to put that right here. Okay. We got it, everybody. We got it. Janie, thank you for hearting me. And Nautical Jess, thank you for hearting me. I appreciate you. Okay. But we need to hotwire it. That's right. So we do need the other one. That's right, that's right, because the other one was about hot wiring. That one is about breaking in. Because this one. <laughs> We're running back. We're running back. Let's just shut this door. Let's shut the door properly because we are a good radio station. And let's put this in this hand. Because this one, hold on. Um, it's in the men's bathroom stall. Okay, hold on, hold on. I thought I got that one though. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the one that we got. 
That's the one we got. Is this the women's? Ew. What? Yeah, maybe it's a different one each time. So let's look. Yeah. What was, what was, that's the, this is craft and work. Um, top hits. Yeah, because this one is Huh. Okay. Read the notes on the desk, yeah. Yupper, yupper, yupper. Let's go read the notes on the desk and figure out where the magazine is. And here we thought we were just gonna run through it. Ah, uh, doesn't seem like that's gonna be this way. Not that one. Not that one. Now this has to be important. Okay, twins, I borrowed your car theft magazine. Those huevos rancheros aren't sitting right. We're gonna need something to read. Pray for me. So it is that one. because he took it to the bathroom. I wonder if, if we're not looking at it close enough and that the hot wire stuff is actually in there. That's what I'm thinking, Paige. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Aaron, thank you for farting me. Um. Yep, it says to remove the steering column, keyless entry techniques, how to strip the purple wire. Yep, this is it. Yep. All right, everybody, get frosty, frosty, frosty. Let's tell Peggy we Did got find it. anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring. Elizabeth, cars. thank well, you for hiding me. Well, perfect. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Okay. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <gasps> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. Of course he is. He's a serial killer. Cut my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. Okay. How do we start this baby? Okay. So put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Unscrew the steering column or hit the steering wheel with a hammer. And it says, use the screwdriver, remove the steering column. So it says, unscrew the steering column. If the screwdriver and the key, if that fails, remove the steering column. So number two. Yeah. Yeah, because it says right here, so we are going to, put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Use the screwdriver as, the, as a key if that fails. Remove the steering column cover. So let's do number two. Okay. 
Unscrew the steering column. Jazz, 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 jazz. I don't know, okay. they're big screws. Covers off. Uh, there's a bunch of wires down here. Oh, they're stopping. Oh, oh God, my heart is pumping. So is mine! Okay, you're doing great. Tell me exactly what you see or do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Which one would you like? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, as much as we want to tell her just to take a deep breath, we're going to just get straight to it and say, tell me exactly what you see. Tell me exactly what you see. Okay, we can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Okay, so now... Okay, so, oh, we need the serial, check the serial number and then strip. So first, okay, so what we have to do, okay, so what's the serial number on the serial, so we, first we need the serial number. So we have to ask her what the serial number is. Yes. What's the serial number on the steering column? Because we. Number is five seven six eight nine four three two zero. Five seven six eight nine four three two zero. Okay. So if there is a four before the three, and the number. Seven, it's the red and the blue. All right. And it says if there is a six anywhere and doesn't start with a five, and doesn't start with a five, so that one's wrong. If there is a zero at the end and the three doesn't come before the six, red. So we have to do red and blue. It's red and blue. Yep. Red and blue. Red and blue. Strip the red and blues and then twist together. Strip the blue and red wires and twist them together. No, I, I think it's just because I'm closer to it, Betsy. And twist and turn and twist. Oh, oh Jiminy Crickets. Uh, the if the radio turns on and won't turn off, cut the left pink wire. Do not cut the other pink wire. This will trigger on. Cut the left pink wire. Oh my goodness. Cut the left wire. Cut the left wire. Ooh. That was high intensity. Yeah, no kidding. Um, oh no! Okay. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. Okay. Um, strip the brown and green wires or strip the red and yellow? Um, da, 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 da. Brush the purple wire against. Now strip the purple wire? The brown and green. Step four, now strip the purple wire. Do not touch the live wires. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wire and then move to step three. Strip the brown and green wires and twist them together or strip, strip and twist the red and yellow. Oh, it's brown and green. Um, if there's a six anywhere and starts with a five, green and, no, it has to be green and brown because it says if there is a six anywhere, which there is a six, and it starts with a five, which it does, then do the green and brown. 
the red and yellow is if there is a zero at the end and the three oh, doesn't come before the six. There is a six anywhere and it doesn't, st oh, it is the yet red and yellow. It is the red and yellow. Yep, 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 it's the red and yellow. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. <sighs> Oh, pay, you're killing me. Okay. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wire from step three. So it's purple and... So it's purple wire brush against the twisted wires, right? Red and yellow. Strip the purple wire into the exposed because it says brush the purple wire against the twisted wire. So strip the purple wire and brush it against this. Yeah, so it's number three. So number three. All right. All right. Ah! Strip the purple ah! wire so much stress. The twisted wires. Katie, thank you so much for harding me. And Joshua, thank you for harding me. Yes. Go! Go, Sandra. I just want you to drive. Just drive. Just keep driving. I, I'm saying just keep driving because that's just what I'm saying. Just keep driving. Just keep driving now, okay? Uh, Hello, Get Avery. Safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. Oh my gosh, you just had a serial killer like try to get you and you're all like, Will do, babies. Did it, Forrest. We sure did. Well Here's done, Beans. Well friend friend done. That we're ja excited to share with you. I and put remember, it in my pocket. If you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday. Put it in my five. pocket. I put Take it, it like away, in my forest. jacket. Body heat tool thought very quickly. Okay. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Yes, it is. Really? Miserable? It's nothing personal. It's a sad place on earth. Peggy, be awesome. Or be honest. Which one do you want? Number two. Number three. Number one, okay. Uh, number three. Number three. Hello, Aloha Brooks. How in the heck are you? All right, Peggy, be Peggy, honest. Be honest, it's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making things she interesting. She always tells a lie. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Just be honest, Peggy. And stab happy. Stab happy. Don't be <laughs> awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Um, some folks have been okay. You don't notice the stink after a while. Whichever one you want, my friends. I am here to enter your pick. Number two, okay. Moxie Savage, thank you for my heart. And Ezra uh, Apollo, thank you for hurting me. I appreciate that. After a while, you don't even notice the smell? I guess that's nice. Smell? What the? There's no smell. <laughs> you, you've lived here your whole life, Peggy. You wouldn't recognize it by now. It smells, anyway, Peggy. I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Well, at least I hope Can Leslie gets back soon. we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? I yeah, did, yes, we saved her. That would be a good idea. Um, I have tried playing Poppy. I'm not really a big fan of the Poppy the whole thing. I'm just not a Poppy gal, Caller, but I have tried. One. Ezra, thank you for my team bracelets. I appreciate that. All right, let's turn this off and get going. Evening, caller. Noise. Is Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. 189.16, The Scream. Ah! 
Tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Boris. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian Ponty. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Whichever. I know this guy is just gets on my nerves. Emma, thank you for the follow. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. We're Hello, on to Brian you. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What yes, I am. We're going to gonna finish the game. About what's happening. Oh, I'm so happy Hello, that Perry. that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza. Jiminy Here Crickets, thanks. Pizza. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. Please don't. Oh, it's the least I can do. Please don't. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because no, I'm we're not. always running great deals. We'll have you eating for pennies. For pennies! Great, and let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. This is the wrong oh, time to oh, say this, Brian Ponty. Oh, no. Good choice it was. Bad choice. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that don't that didn't come out great. Um, that was pretty tasteless, I have to say. Which one would you like to say? Do do yeah, that didn't come out great. Um, two, 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 two. We had a couple of threes, but it looks like twos are winning, so yeah, that yeah. didn't. That didn't come out great. I'm Not a cool test. Thank you for my good game. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. No, oh, stop it. Got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza stop. this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Yeah. Peggy, hang up on him. Yeah. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Yes, I do. Sure. I can play an ad. I can play an ad all night. I can play an ad all night. Do, do, do. She says. Done. There you go. Look at that. Easy peasy. I'm trying. Ah. Oh, I can, my crazy? Dude, I had no idea. Really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking mm -hmm. sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Wow, what ah. a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that. Yes, we did it. Airtime. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along Ooh, I'll have with to our try next that. caller. 
All right. Welcome to the scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. Well, if I what? would, Another if I one? could. Leslie left me in charge. I'm 911. Or you haven't heard, have you? This one is tricky. Yes. Go sports. Andrea, thank you for my rose. Number one. Okay. Number one. Left Leslie left me in charge, buddy. Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Me. Why on earth is Leslie? Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dude, Can straight to the point. What happened? Did you witness the incident? No. Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? No. I can Cite you with an anonymous source, if that's a concern. Um, we're live on the air, or just tell me what happened. I mean, I'll let you all pick. Do you want to just be like, dude, we're live on the air, or just tell me what happened. Number two, okay. Never mind that. Tell me what's happening there. You said there's been a break-in? That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid. Just broke in, dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teen. <laughs> They're they good. Get worse every year. Uh, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. Back in the fifties. I was there. I covered it. I don't think it was a teen, or and now he's back. So I don't think it's a teen, or and now he's back. Number two. Number one, number one. Yeah, we're going to be playing Killer Frequency in, until the end. I mean, it depends on how long it takes to do it as whether or not I'll be playing something else. Um, we need to tell him. Okay, the two's got it. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The Whistling Man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Ass Nash. No, dude, Maybe you're not listening funny. to me. Not a big deal, old man. But you're not listening. The terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Well, I'm gonna get him. him. I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Can you get out of there or think you can take the whistle? Do we want him to fight the whistling man or just get out of there? Number one. Number one. Okay. <laughs> I'm all like, just go fight him. All right. Number one it is. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Uh, I sure as shit hope I know, so, Lucky. Kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Well, Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms. I'd be terrified too. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. And buy Maurice time or and get an exclusive interview with the killer. I think number one, yeah. I mean, I don't want to talk to the killer. Number one, okay. I'll buy Maurice time. Yeah, we work. can do that. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. You realize 
realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? No, it's For not. That to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension, plus a plan of the entire office floor, all delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God, I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go. I know. He just needs to relax. We're gonna save him. Um, Shaz Rid. Shaz Droid, thank you for my roses, hun. You, you don't think the killer got him, do you? No. Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Excuse me. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Okay. Um, how do you know our fax machine number? Where is the fax machine? I'll go pick. How did he know the number? That's fast. How do you know our fax machine number? KFAM and the Gallows Reporter have a pretty long history. Where's the fax machine? Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right okay. back. Okay. Let me just go do that, Peggy. You just sit there. You don't don't okay. get up. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. I can do that. I can do that. Thank you, Elizabeth. Fax machine, fax machine, fax machine. Okay, here we go. This we got it. This must be it. We got it, everyone. Nope, Peggy just likes to boss us around. Ah, let me get in there. There we go. Okay. All right, so here, I'm, we're going to take a look at this first, all right? Because we made the mistake last time where we didn't. So Maurice is in the boardroom upstairs where the fax machine is, all right? So he's right now, he's in the boardroom with the fax machine. And then the whistling man is at the stairs on the other side. So what we want to do is we want to find a room that we can draw, yeah, that we can draw the whistling man to so we can try to get out. Um, Ezra, this is my full-time job. I'm a full-time content creator. Um, this is called Killer Frequency, Remy. So again, um, even if you want to stay sitting down, just push along sitting in your chair. Yeah, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. So what we're going to do is we're going to send the whistling man over to the editor's office. Andrea, thank you for my team bracelet. I appreciate that. So we're going to send the whistling man over to the editor's office, which is extension three, giving Maurice time to get out of the boardroom and get over there and try to move this, the, um, and try to move the filing cabinet. Right? Right. All right. We're all on this. Good lucky. I tell you, this time I am taking notes and we are we are going to make sure that we get everybody out because I am not losing that poor kid in the, the maze again. That was heart wrenching. OK, so let's get out of here. And let's tell Peggy we're back. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have it. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you uh, you still with us? I am. Um, yeah, I got it. It's right here. Yeah, I got it right here. Poor Eugene, Good. I know. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. We can do it. the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. Okay. Now he's in the office next door. Okay. Okay. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And okay. then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Um, we are going to do the editor's office. So let's do the editor's office. And we got that. Call the editor's That would be office. crazy hearing this. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Okay, let's have him go. Do we remember where we want to send him? Do we want to send him to the kitchen? 
I would imagine the kitchen, right? Because we're sending the whistling man to the editor's office. And then... Because we have... Go to the kitchen. Go, we don't want to send him to the archives because that's too close to where we're sending the guy. On second thought, let's dial another room. I say the kitchen. Yeah. No, yeah. But the archives are too close. I say the kitchen. Yeah, let's try the kitchen because it really does make more sense. Okay. So tell him to go to the kitchen. Fingers crossed. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. Thank you. I'm ready you. to place the call. All right. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't We're ready. Don't have much choice, do I? No, you do not. Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. Okay, we can hear it. Ginny, Ginny, it's going really good. Thank you. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Genie, Genie, it's going really good. Sorry. Um, good plan, Peggy. Um, you can thank me later. Let's just get Peggy. You know what? I would like to be friends with Peggy on this one. So why don't we just say good job or good plan, Peggy? How long are you streaming today? Probably until about 10. No, Peggy Light. All right, you can thank me later. Don't worry, Maurice. You can thank me when you're safely home. That's thank right. You. It's your producer. <laughs> if I make it through this. We did not get any credit for that. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call Pacific, him. Pacific Standard Time. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. Well, he's not going to thank me. He's going to no, thank you, Peggy. We got to find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is going to buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We got to think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Calling coming. You okay. ready? Yes. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Ready as I'll ever be. I Hello, B. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Okay. Either. Hopefully he's okay. Gotta give you credit for that. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Okay. Exactly. I, I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Of course. Okay. Oops. Um, can you fight him? Maybe play dead? Can you lock him in a room? All right. We do not want... I, we don't want him to fight him. I don't think playing dead is going to be good because the guy didn't him. Uh, yeah, let's do number three. Hydration station, everybody. This is hard work. Hydration station. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. The damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside he'd be able to get out just as soon as wait 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 no 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 i got we have it. a plan the secret archive through my office where we keep our most sensitive records Ooh, a secret archive reggie would love that what have you got back there juicy secrets about outer space now is not the time peggy now is not the time Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. That's right. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can <laughs> <get> Windy, <laughs> I go, bro. I'm, I'm glad you're back. here. We can catch Sorry about time. that. Exactly. Oh, my God. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Great. Oh, we're going to need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? 
Um, is there a TV in there? Use yourself as bait or use a radio. Um, is there a TV? Okay. I already know which one I think. Yeah, a radio. Because that is the only thing that we can do. So, a radio. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Um, is that still in the office? I hope... Yeah, I don't really care if he's a fan of the radio show. Let's just be... Um, and... Uh, yeah, is it still in the office? So let's go. Is it still in the office? Yep. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. This is killer frequency. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Okay. We're gonna save him, Forrest. We're gonna try. Look, if this works, we might even save the whole town. We're gonna try. Uh, don't get excited yet. I'm kind of like a, just let's just not celebrate yet. Um, let's just be like, yeah, let's just kind of take it easy there, Peggy. There's still a lot to do before we celebrate. Let's just see how it goes first. Let's just what do calm you mean? down. He's not out of there yet. We still got to find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know. We got a lot to but do. We got a plan for how to do that. And oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Thank Ash, you. Hello. Yeah. Ash, are you there? Yes. Hey, is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Um uh, Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Ash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Well, how am I supposed to know, dude? I've had to come up with all the ideas the anyway. Works. If I make it out alive, <laughs> I remember that. Might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Elizabeth, mute that right or um, block that, please. Thank you, honey. To draw the killer. I can't be on the roll when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. If you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16. I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? Um, that's correct. One night, one eighty nine point sixteen, the best and only. Hit the stinger, Peggy. I would just say it's correct. People are very weird, but I would just say that's correct, right? Number one, yeah. Big tab, thank you so much for my roses and my high bear. And Baba, thank you so much for my cheers. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mariana. I appreciate that. That there's just there's just no there's just no need for that. All right, number one. You got it. One eighty nine point sixteen. Good. I got the radio on. Thank silent, you, AK. But I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send I appreciate the killer? you. Okay. So where are we sending this person? We're sending them to, because he needs to go to the archives and he's in the boardroom right now and I'm in the kitchen. I thought that he was in the boardroom. Oh, so we're gonna call the boardroom. Okay, cause the killer is in the editor's office right yeah we want to call yeah 
So we want, yeah, because we want him to go to the boardroom because he's in the editor's office right now. Okay, calling the boardroom. Got it, everybody. Call the boardroom. All right, calling the boardroom. Call the boardroom. Timothy, the thank you for hiding me, hon. I appreciate you. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? <gasps> Are we sure about this, everyone? Are we sure? Because if you want to take a look at it again, we can. I'm sure make the call. Okay. All right. We're sending them. All right. I'm sure make the call. Ah! Okay. Calling the boardroom now. <laughs> Hello, crazy llama cat. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Okay. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw <gasps> Shanita. Um, I'll impersonate Mr. Russell, give fake advice. I'll call the killer a jackass. I don't want to get them all mad, but I'm saying, um, yeah, I say just number one. I don't want to mess around with it until that guy's like out of there. So number one. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm going to do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, pal. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Uh, isn't Ooh, that a good uh, go. note? I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am. Question. Thank you, Lauren, under for my, my team desk, bracelet. But, uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where that's we're going. Where going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. That doesn't make any sense. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. Hide under the desk, hide in your cabinet, hide inside the secret odd card. Hide. So no to the cubicles. The cubicles are too open. We don't want him to hive, hide where we're sending the killer. Um, under, his, under the desk, I think, yeah, is too open again. So, yep, cabinet. Let's have him hide in the cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. All right. Now. Okay. Don't say anything. Shanita, we choose all the responses and we solve it. puzzles. We it's a play. lot of fun. You can trust us. Here we go. We're a late night radio DJ and there's a killer on the loose. You can do it, Maurice. Hey, whistling man, you jackass. Hey, whistling man. Jackass. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Wait, really? Oh, shit. <laughs> Forrest Nash, you son of a bitch! I told you to... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Forrest, he's... He's... I had to push the wrong button. All right, let's try this again. Um, ruh row. Let's see if we can't work. Hold on. Can we reset objects? No. It's 
Sorry, guys. We lost Maurice on this one. Dead. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. Folks, I was running out of time we'll to pick an soon. answer. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next track. I'll just play some sad music. Well, this is going to be a long night. Oh, really? Feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I'll I don't know. Some questions to speed things along. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Um, what do you want to know? I'll regret this, but okay. Maybe I like being a mystery. Which one do you want me to pick? Number three. Okay. Did it occur to you that maybe I like being a mystery? Too bad. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? See, this is where she starts to get no, a little like specific. up in his business. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings i don't i'm an only child and my folks are dead oh peggy is sorry, definitely Forrest. flirting uh, it's okay peggy that's how it goes you're sorry why did you do it don't be sorry i'm not so which one would you like me to pick she is suspicious yes she is number two was funny okay you're sorry. Why? Did you do it? Of course not. I only... I'm just messing with you. Just anyway. calm down, Peggy. Just calm what down. you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. Uh, it goes both ways, I'm honey. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh, what happened there? Oh. Huh. What a coincidence. It's either like, oh, we either find out what happened to her parents... Which I think in hindsight, no, Lucky, we need to figure out what happens to her parents. So then that way we get a little bit more idea about her relationship with her sister. Right? Don't you agree? Yeah, let's find out what happened. Oh. I'm trying to redeem myself from My getting more skills. About 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was dad. Mom hey, didn't SJ. take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Sorry. Ooh, sorry, Peggy. It's okay. I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Okay. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. I Hold wonder. On. I wonder just why. Rang the door buzzer. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Me? Not really. You sure you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Gee, thanks, Peggy. <sighs> Gee, thanks, Peggy. See, I had to make a fast response last time, and I picked the wrong Buzzers one. on the front door. See you in a bit. Hello, sorry I haven't been here last few streams. Hope everyone's okay. Well, Charlotte, I'm glad you're here okay. now, hon. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Archer, I really do like this game. This is our second run through. We're trying to get a better outcome. So far, I haven't, um, I haven't redeemed. Ah, okay. I'm just going to let Maurice go. Yes, we will. I'm telling you what, if I lose, if I lose Eugene, I'm, 
I'm going to be upset. Well, that was ominous. A tape. Oh, there it is. Play on air. I wonder why. Hello, Strawberry M. How are you doing, honey? Ah, Janie, thank you for my hand heart. Thank you so much. Okie doke. Let's go see what this is. And let's let Peggy know I'm back. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Frog bug, well, this is called Killer turn Frequency. Turn the music off and play it. Yeah, let's just do that. We have no idea what it is. And let's take that. We're going to put that there. And then we're going to put that in here. And we're going to play it. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for life. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. <gasps> I, I hope you get one. That. What the hell was that? I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Ah, uh, that's kind of weird. That uh, uh <clears throat> wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. There's no way the killer got from the newspaper to here so quick. I know. We're going to try. We already lost Maurice, but we're going to try. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches back. Let's put on a new, let's put on a new album. Okay. Chelsea, right, thank you for up. my rose. I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Ah. Uh, You're right there. Why don't you do it? Just go get it. See, I'm being more sassy now to her. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Or try your call again. Ugh, straight to voicemail? My God. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you oh. never. Ezra, thank you so much for my team bracelets. I appreciate that. Information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank. I don't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash. Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest, mate, you all right? Don't worry about Gina. You know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of the Shells, thank you for night, my cheers. I appreciate that. Much less friendly. Wow, that's a little that threatening. Snatcher, you know, Roddy Snatcher? 
Um, big fan, world friends, or I used to be a big deal. Which one would you like? Number two? Okay. Hello, Eva. Okay. Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy. I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh, my God. I can't believe you know Roddy's Yeah, session. yeah, yeah. And Get... I can't believe he didn't tell me he sent you his new single. Chill. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to K-Fan, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Okay. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at K-Fan aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. We're still missing them. Go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. That's not my problem. You go. Oh. Strawberry M, I hope you get it. Okay. She is so bossy. So let me just go downstairs yet once again. And go get it. And go get it. And if I remember correctly, it is... I need that, but not right now. Oops. And we need the record, the record... Is it a record? Yeah, it's a record. Oh, here it is. Okay. This must be it. Yep. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. My tiny selection grows. My tiny selection grows. Ty, thank you for hearting me. I appreciate that. My tiny selection Gross. Alrighty. Ah. And we're just going to put it right. Did it go in here? There we go. Hey, did you get it? Got yes. It. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Oh my oh, gosh. Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the Aww, thank you, Lucky. I appreciate himself. that. But is it I just appreciate you being everywhere. here. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Um, do, do, do. All right. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. All right, Peggy, calm down. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Well, I thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. Oh, well, thanks, I really Peggy. I it's nothing serious. Oh, please do not be Eugene. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy. <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, I think it's Ponte Pizza again. To my son, Fernando. It's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh. I think it's Ponte's Aww, Pizza, too. Happy birthday, Fernando. Um, happy birthday, Fernando. Weird night to celebrate. I mean, it's not that happy today. Which one would you like? I mean, we already know it's Ponte's Pizza. Number one. Um... Let's see. I know I want to hurt free pizza and tuned everything out. Yeah, let's do number. Let's do number two. Feels like a weird night to celebrate, but yeah. Uh, congrats. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? No. Oh no! Murphy is the guy that's gonna do the karate. He's not Ponty's pizza. So Murphy is a. Okay, this is a bad idea, Murphy. Oh boy, here we go. Are you gonna kick his ass? This is a bad idea, Murphy. Yeah. We're playing Killer Frequency, Bambi. Um. It's got it, yeah. Um, so no free pizza. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's see. I he's gonna do it one way or the other. Oh boy, here we go. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's dojo series. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Please stop. Please stop, oh, Murphy. No. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Okay. Although, having heard that Master Robbie ad earlier... Oh, he's barking. Uh, well, don't get your hopes up too much. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Um, okay. Oop, we got to play a commercial. So let's get this out. Let's get this out. We're going to take that. We're going to throw that over there. We're going to take another commercial. We're going to put that in and we're going to play it. We already played this commercial. I can't listen to this again. So let's take that one out and let's play this one. There we go. Teddy Gallows Jr. Thank you, is a Charles. family man, a devout Christian, this is even worse. and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, <laughs> and make Gallows Creek a good place. That's how I family. hunt ghosts, and that's how Unlike I do radio. Unlike current mayor, Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Thank Sheriff you, Matthews, who, that. after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force Katie, into early thank you for retirement. My heart puff. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows the Jr. believes in the like American that, dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy you Gallows Jr. keep Gallows that. Creek a good no, American town. That's Linda Carter. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. God, what a jackass. Yep. 100% grade A asshole. Yep. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not. Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? I yeah, thought it was Linda Carter. One. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. We got a caller. You know what to do. It does have a really unique style. So that's turned off. All right, let's turn this on. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Uh oh. Um, who's there? Who's there? Who is this? Are you okay? Do you need help? Or just hello? Are you okay? Do you yeah. need help? Forrest? He called me? Uh-oh. That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jeez. 
Jesus. Hey, listen, Kala, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or...? Um... Well, sure. I don't want to tell them about sure. Maurice. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Kala? I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. Call a neighbor. Can you run away or can you hide? Do we want her to call a neighbor? Can you run away or can you hide? Ladybug, thank you for my finger heart. Uh, okay, looks like number three is in the lead. Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Can you run away? <laughs> we are bad with cabinets, yes. Uh, can't you call a neighbor? I say call a neighbor because running away, he's just going to catch him. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? Of course, of There's course, Peggy. Just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house. Yes, they're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Fun covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted, and I'm about to get. Oh God. Virginia, we'll help what's you. What's the name of the frat? It's. Oh God. I can't think. I can't. I can't. Any idea what? Oh, <sighs> Virginia. If I knew where she was, I might know, but. The takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Um, try to remember. Don't be Come a on, child. Virginia, try to remember. I can't do this. She's stressing me out too. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Peggy, what places do take out in Gallery? She's Creek? very dramatic. Off the top of my head? Uh, well, there's the barbecue place, grilling spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. Um, that's it? That's it? Gallows Creek only has three places? You know, Forrest, just for once, I think you should be thankful that we're not in Chicago. Excuse me. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do two for is two. this. Go sports. To figure out where the frat boys ordered from. Call the takeout pretending to be from the frat. Place an order and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Um, <laughs> I hate this town. I'm yeah, sorry. It's things like this that make me hate this town. Complain after you save her, Forrest. All right. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. This is called killer and frequency. The downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. <sighs> God, where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? Well, we let's have a figure. Food it. critic, right? Chad or Brad or. Uh... <sighs> I just have to look around. Okay, so the food critic was this guy. Was this guy the food critic? Nope. That doesn't look like a food critic's desk. A promotion, huh? Maybe if I find the pizza box. Nope. Oh. Okay, dear Bradley Carter, please enjoy a free sample of 
garlic bread. We've pinned our latest offers and deals for the outside of the box if you want to read them on your own, on air. Grilling Spree's new offer is terrible and we think we should read our ad instead. Hey, I ate the garlic bread uh, much like your show. It was mediocre. The deal is worth checking out though. Anthony, it was it was um, creepy, but we made it we made it out. So that's what all that matters. We made it out. Okay, preliminary review. We can all agree that the flavor profiles of chupa, uh, chupacabra are the best in town, despite being a pricey option and offering no deals. The El Diablo burrito has the best mouthfeel, and those huevos rancheros are just excellent. For the hundredth time, it's an audio medium. People won't get its egg excellent. So we have. Doo, doo, doo. And then what's this one? That one's nothing. So let's get rid of that one. That one is a supermarket. Okay. All right, so let's go down to the break room. Uh, do, do, do. Hey lady, are you playing this on Steam uh, PC? This is downloaded from Steam and yes, I'm playing on a PC. I think we call Ponty's Pizza also. Tried to make it, but I passed out watching you. <laughs> I love playing Phasmophobia. Okay, so let's go in here. Okay, so here's the pizza box that we took last time. And... So let's see, let's see, let's see. That's really out of order. I love that fact too. Absolutely, that's one of the things I like about it so much. Tia, thank you so much for hearting me and my rose. I appreciate that. So I'm thinking y'all, because that's milk for the coffee. I think it's Ponty's Pizza because that's the only thing that is down here. Pretty and good trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Yeah, it's this one. Offer. I wonder how well Gallon's High performed. The fridge. Let's check the fridge. They have no food in the fridge. They like a lot of milk, though. They have milk everywhere. That's what I'm thinking, Georgia. Out of all the food, this one looks most like what they would order for a frat house. That's what I was thinking. Remember, don't call yourself frat man. Say, hey, dude, on the phone, or he won't believe you. Okay. Hello, Supernova. Milk and beer, what a combo. That's what it used to look like when I drank. That's all that used to be in my refrigerator. Okay. Oops. Hey, find anything useful? Uh, yes, I'm ready. <coughs> yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Let's make the call. When you're ready, shut the music off. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? We're calling Ponte's Pizza, correct? Correct. That is what we're calling. One free beer for every Ponte um, that Gallo High wins by Tuesday. Okay. All right. 
Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza. Supernova, is thank you for my team bracelets. I appreciate that. Ponty's Pizza. May I take your order? Um, so we're gonna say, hey, dude, right? Yeah. Hey, dude, what's going on? Uh, may I take your order? Uh, we're gonna do the garlic bread, right? We're gonna say garlic bread? Yeah, because the slow roasted pizza is too long. So let's do garlic bread. I need some garlic bread. Oh, I need the bread. Can't do. <laughs> Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The Fred House. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. We did oh, it. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. Yeah. I should really call them and let them know. And now, now we, we wait. wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. I know now I want garlic bread right now. The flow. And this is their hit, crying for help. He like believed him but didn't believe him like I mean I believed him enough to deliver What's the garlic the bread. places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Equally awful, equally good, if you had to pick. Equally awful, equally good, if you had to pick. Joshua, that's the one I was thinking. All right. You mean equally awful? No, equally good. But if I had to order... Not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So between grilling spree and chalupa cobras. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or no. do I want really, really Yes, I want a plate full of nachos. It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I hold that thought for us. We've got a call coming in. Okay. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Yes, bossy. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <laughs> hey, 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 this is Fredman Bunker. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. <laughs> we did it, yes. Yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. The and Scream. Um, this is an emergency. Sure, this is Goose or this is Forest. Which one would you like? This is Forest. Number one. Number one. Okay. Do you think we should still just pretend to be Goose? Oh, that's true. Maybe. Okay, let's just try that one. Sure. Whatever, it, it's Goose. Now, listen, I... Goose, dude, get your ass to the party. We got so much beer! Uh, listen, That's what I was I thinking, Luna. To... Goose, come get beer. Your brother's awaiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? <laughs> Let me get a second opinion on oh, this. Oh, no, uh, very cool. Norman the Barbarian! What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control the radio. That's true. Oh, only the radio man can control the radio. The Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Okay. Oh, there's the flow right now. 
Yeah, I was gonna say that's pretty easy. Oh shit! Okay, okay, Rio man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just say no more. Bunkers moving the house. Forest, line two. Okay, I think that's gonna be Hello, Virginia. You're live on 189.16, the stream. Forrest, it's the killer. Uh, Virginia. Please. Oh my God, it's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. Whoa. Okay, she says she didn't talk. There's a clue right there. did it you're welcome Virginia and thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers some heroes wear capes some wear sheets as togas hey Forrest did you hear what Virginia said earlier what was that yes. all about Clive I didn't talk do you know what she meant there's a janitor here at the station named Clive but your guess is as good as mine all right folks Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. Suspicious meantime, or non-suspicious, like if you know Clive, caller. call in. Okay. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. That's Have gotta be Ponte. I find this all horrifying. A killer yeah. roaming the streets of our fair town? Terrible. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Anthony. I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family friendly place. Oh, what small business do you own? You sure are up late. Good for you, friend. One, two, or three. I will let you pick. Number two? Okay. You sure are up late. I guess you must love the work. Oh, I sure do. You know, we're at it all day, every day. And that includes major holidays we've got coming up, like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. My life. Um, what business is yours? You must really love your work. What business is yours? Um, you must really love your work. Number two, okay. You must really, really love your work. Oh, I do. My small business really is my whole world. Sigh. What's your small business? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Ponty's Pizza! The Good best old Ponty's Pizza. Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Ponty, no! No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Oh, yes, we can, Ponty Peggy. Say Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just... Uh, I can be mad. We can Look, be mad. He's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and <gasps> let's keep going. All right. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello? Oh. Am I on air? Sure are, caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein, and I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. Looking I am not ready for Eugene. I am not ready for this. For you got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take 
for you, Jean. First journey together into the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. I'm trying. I'm trying. I listened all night to how cool you play. He deserves to live. Yes, Joshua, he does. I ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Um, go home to your parents. Do you really need to ask or stay and wait? <sighs> I think if we tell him to go home to his parents, I mean, it's one. Um, number one. Yeah, let's just send him home. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on! I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly! I'm in the middle! No, it's not Molly! It's been a while to get here, but, uh... Thanks again, Forrest. Good talk. No! Molly can't whistle. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. Um, we'll get you out of this. Do you know the way out? Just run through the walls. What would you like me to say? I am letting you all do this one. Because one way or the other, we're going to have to get them out. I say run through the walls. I mean, if he just runs through the walls, do you think that he would just get out? Or maybe he'll say, like, I can't. Um, no matter what, we have to help him. Yeah. All right, we'll get you out of this. Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. Carl, I'm about to die a virgin. Listen, Eugene, breathe. Sorry. Hide. And call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. Okay. Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Good night, Charlotte Rose. How the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a Maze Maze fanatic. Shame she isn't here. Yeah, it's like two o'clock in the morning. Week, she changed her mind. Why'd she change her mind? Is it Maze Maze for kids? Maybe we should call Barbara. I would like to know why she changed her mind. Because last time we said maybe we should call Barbara. We said that last time. I remember she's like, well, I don't know Barbara's phone number. I would love to know why she changed her mind. Okay. Why she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. Does everyone have dates in the maze? Uh, yeah. Does everyone in Gallows Creek go on dates in the maze maze? A lot of folks do. There's something nice about getting lost, I guess. And besides, there's not much else to do here. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could. But I don't actually know her number. But she probably <laughs> strawberry maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Brad, Brad, Ringing Brad. Ringing bells? Right, yeah. Sorry, I guess it's just the stress of... No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. All right, I'm going. Bingo. Here's what I was looking for. Yep, knew exactly where it was at. And 
very flimsy door that will keep nobody out. It's the hardest map in history, I agree. Okay, let's take a look at it before. Okay. So we really have no idea of left and right or, or um, like southeast, west. Left, backwards, left, right, right. Okay. Left, backwards. Left, right, right. Okay. All right, let's try to give them a call. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Never mind. It doesn't matter right now. Because she and Brad got in a fight, damn it. Later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Time to turn the music off. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. Oh, Jimmy the Cricket. Forrest. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Okay, so he's at a crossroad facing a tractor statue, gold hay bales on his right. So he is facing a tractor statue with gold hay bales on his right. So go left. Okay. Okay, so he's facing it this way, and we want him to go left. Okay. All right, I'm telling him to go left. I am washing my hands of this. Okay, so go left. Okay, go left. Go left. Go back, okay. Hello, Scully. Backwards, backwards, okay. Okay, he has a pig statue in front of him and a rocking horse to his left. Okay, backwards, all right. Lucky everybody's saying backwards. Okay. All right, let's go backwards. Go backwards. Okay. <laughs> ah. I just fight her over? Oh. I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Okay. Which way? Okay, so now we are... Forward, right, or left? And everybody's saying left. Okay. I don't know my left or my right, so I'm just leaving it up to you. Left? All right. Let's go left. Left it is. Go left. Rebel, how are you?
Oh, Eugene, hang in there. <sighs> I'm doing good, honey. Okay, so we want him to go right. Right? Okay. <gasps> Butterscotch pudding, that sounds really good. Okay, we're going to have him go right. Go right. Listen, he sounds like his little feet tapping. I can't run. Much more. Eugene, run, damn it. I just passed a cordon silo. Didn't see anything else. Okay. One more right. Please. Okay. Where do I go? Okay, go right. All right, right again, everybody. <gasps> go right. <sighs> Okay, we saved him. That was tense. I think I held my breath the whole time. I yeah. I think it went pretty well, all told. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Ah, Supernova, thank you for my crown. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank All right. I'm going to Rengo you. use the bathroom, everybody. So grab snacks, grab some water. <laughs> that one stressed me out. I'm going to go use the restroom and I will be right back. Ugh. All right, Annie. Robert. 
All right, everybody. Okay, here we go. Oh, I know, I saw it. I get all sorts of, oops. Hold on, everybody. My camera went out also. And I am... Hold on. I know. I'm trying to fix my camera right now. I just got all sorts of problems going on. Okay. Uh, hold on. And Mr. Walker. Hold on, everybody. I'm working on it. Hold, please. We got a problem. Hold, please. We got a problem. Let me see if I can't fix this really quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, everybody, I'm going to put you on pause for just a minute. So hold tight, everybody. Thank you. 